Hey everyone. So in this video, we'll be learning about screener.in, how to make best use of this website, which is absolutely free. You don't have to spend one rupee on this. Okay. Until you want to really subscribe for it. But even without subscribing, you can screen a lot of stocks, do your whole analysis here and all of that. Okay. So let's get started. I'll show you the different uh, things that you can do on screener.in. So first, let us see a particular company. Let's take Avanti Feeds. So Avanti Feeds, if you want to read more about the company, like here, so Avanti Feeds into all of this. That is, it is a leading provider of high quality shim feed. Okay. And these are its ratios. That is uh, the market cap is so and so, the PE is so and so, ROC is 17.3. But if you, let's say I want to add more here, I can do it with the edit option here or else if I want to read more about this business, then I can do it, but you need to log in. So here I've logged in into my account. Okay. And as you can see from the previous uh, window here, I've added enterprise value. What is debt to equity? So since it's zero, zero, it's a debt free company, right? What is the OPM? So all this, even with the edit ratio, you can kind of, let's say add. So what is promoter holding? So if, if you add that, you should see the promoter holding also. So this way, whatever you feel is important, you can add those here. And also, if you want to read more about the business in the key points, you can read a lot about that. Even the CAPEX plans, all of that would be highlighted here. Okay. So this is a, and this is absolutely free. Although I've logged in here, but this thing is absolutely free uh, because I'm not signed into my uh, subscription one. So even here, without uh, paying screener anything you can still analyze the company and do all of that and here it gives you a chart although it is not a great chart right it is not really for technical analysis for fundamental analysis it is the best website i would say then comes peer comparison sometimes peer comparison is not that great but if you uh, know okay which company are its competition then you can directly compare it with them right because as you can see here it has given you a Godrej Agrovet and even others, right? But the real competitors for Avanti feeds would be Apex Frozen Foods and others. Okay. So this is not the right comparison. You get the quarterly results also. And then the profit and loss statement, the balance sheet thing, the cash flow, which is very important for me. Then the ratios, like what is the ROC for the last many years, that also you kind of get it. And also the promoter holding from here, you can kind of figure out what is happening in the shareholding pattern. For example, in case of Avanti Feeds, although the promoter holding is stable, you can see that the FIS have been selling state, right? So they have reduced it from 17 to 12, although the DIS have bought a little, but still once you look at the public holding, right? That kind of gives you as to what is happening in the stock. So here it was 30, it has come to 32. That is more retail holding is there. That means the big guys are selling out and the retail is kind of buying it okay so this is about the thing and if you want to read annual reports also that would be at the bottom of your screen and even the latest announcements by the company on the exchanges that would also be here so even if you click it here right it would take you to the bsc website from where you can read it okay so this is about the thing and even for the uh, con calls if you want the transcript for the last result last con call so that also you can read it from here okay so once you follow a particular stock let's say i am following avanti feed then what will happen is in your feed thing you will start getting the announcement of that particular company for example yesterday avanti feed made this particular announcement or else rsl gatek they made an announcement that is they came out with their quarterly results so even here as well as the email id that you used to sign in that would get a email every single day telling you what were the announcement of the companies that you follow. For example, I followed Avanti, I followed, follow RACL Gatek, I followed Amins and Plus Science, right? Even Newland Labs. So if I'm following them, then naturally it would be in my feed. Also, it would be on your email. Let's say you forget to uh, log into screener.in, but still it will send you an email telling, okay, this is the quarterly results. They have announced the quarterly results or any big announcements are there. Whatever announcements are there, that would be, uh, I mean, via email, they'll be letting you know. Then comes screen. So here, uh, screen is, let's say, a popular themes. Like people have already done it. 
like capacity expansion if any company is doing uh, capacity expansion some guy has already made a screener so you can actually go through that details also in the query section and see okay what is this guy actually trying to do so what he is doing is sales growth for the three years should be greater than 12 percent net block should be greater than net block three years back into two net block plus capital work in progress so these are all a little uh, fundamental terms right that you need to know if you are aware of that then you can even un try to understand, okay, what is this guy trying to do it? And if you have a better solution, you can uh, kind of make a new uh, screener also, or else you can modify it, then run the query, and then you can even save it, okay? Save it and give it another name, if whatever name you want. So that is the query that that particular guy has done, and based on which you would start getting all these stocks. So this is also one thing that you can do make a screener and know that for example let's say i want to make a new screen that is i want stocks that is of i want only micro cap stocks so a market cap less than thousand crores show me okay and then if i have to go to the next line i would uh, say and and then it would automatically take me to the next uh, line and here i would say okay let me know that whoever as a P of less than 15, okay? And if I run this query, there are 765 companies. So, okay, let's put some more queries then. I can't go through 765 stocks, right? So let's say ROC. So ROC, return on capital employed is greater than 50. And if I run this query, so it is 322, still a bit higher, right? So what I'll do is I don't want very small companies. So let's say market capitalization, should be greater than 100. I don't want that 10 crore, 20 crore dollar stocks. Okay. So that will again, 188, still pretty high. So what I'll do is I'll look for companies with debt to equity. Okay. I don't want debt to be too high. So debt to equity, usually the number that many people use is one. So it should be less than one. So still 168, which is quite high. So maybe a few other stuff like let's say promoter holding. I want to know that, okay, the promoter has a lot of trust in his company. So promoter holding greater than 60%. Okay. Now 98. If you want some more stuff, you can do it. Or else let's say make this even stringent like, okay, price to earnings. I want it to be less than just 10 or this market cap. I want it to be 200 or the ROC. I, I 15 is not good enough for me. I want it to be 18. And let's say the ROS debt, I want it to be only 0.5%, right? If you run this query, hardly 28 stocks. So 28 is reasonable enough. You can go through that and figure out uh, all these names, okay? And let's say I go to feeds here. So in, in the screens, you would see that on the right-hand side, there are sectors as well, okay? For example, let's I'll go to cables. So in cables, you have all these companies. Polycab is... So they rate them as per their market cap. So Polycap is the leader, then KEI, Phenolex, Sterlite Tech, and all of that. Let's say I want to know which one is having the lowest P. I want to invest in company having the lowest P. So by uh, clicking on this P thing, right, you should be able to. So the first one was with an arrow map at the top means that, okay, the highest one is really cap. If I want to go with the lowest one, right? Okay, these don't have it. So because they are making loss, there is no PE at all. Okay, so it starts from here, from seven. GKYS is something that is having a PE of seven. Or else why market cap? If I want to uh, make sure that I, I look at companies based on market cap in the cable segment. So out of these 24 names, so uh, based on their market cap, this is coming here and you can even edit this column so if you want anything here which is i have not included you can do that also by going to edit you can see okay show me opm which was not there okay and then save columns then here the operating profit margin would also be here then i want to go with the one making the highest profits that is operating profit margin so this particular company looks like it has the best opm and after that polycab has the best so polycab is the leader as well as the has the highest opm so this way you can play around and you can do it all for free right
so hope this helps hope this uh, even helps you kind of figure out yeah, other companies the, the most popular themes also by making use of which you can even uh, like there is one called as coffee can portfolio by saurabh mukherjee right so i'm not sure whether it's the correct one it is sales growth roc return 10 years 15% market cap rate so yeah this looks great so this will give you the idea of okay do, which are the coffee can portfolio but then you'd again have to do a little uh, tweaking like go into the cash flow statements and all of that which he has not done in this one okay so making use of screener you can actually do a lot of stuff and since it is for free right uh, you just have to spend some time and you should be able to figure out best companies to invest in okay hope this helps thank you